Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am sharing with you one of the envelope banners that I created for our SwapBot group. I've created two of these. Uh, so if you are one of my partners and you have not received this yet and you wanna be surprised, you should stop watching now um, because one of you will be receiving this in the mail shortly if you don't have it already. So I am working here with the Doodlebug Love Notes collection. I've grabbed five of the 12 by 12 pattern papers and I'm gonna trim these down to create my envelopes. I have created two envelopes that were trimmed to six and a half. That's a, always square in order to make the envelopes. And then their first score will be at two and three quarters. The next one is seven and a quarter and then scoring at three and one eighth five and three quarters, scoring at two and five eighths, and seven inches, scoring at three and one eighth. So those will give you the sizes to create the envelopes if you wanna do the same sizes that I have created here. So I've grabbed my one, two, three punch board and I'm gonna get my envelopes created. This is really handy to have. You guys have seen me use it before. It's probably one of my favorite tools in my stash. It really makes creating these envelopes so super easy. You can also make different types of envelopes with it, some bows as well as some boxes. Once I have everything scored and punched, I will go ahead and fold to create my envelopes. Here I'm adding on the bottom edge where I'm going to fold up the bottom of my envelope, I'm gonna add some eighth inch score tape along the side flaps here. I'll make sure that's stuck down nice and tight, peel away the backing, and then fold up the bottom of my envelope. And then lastly, I need to be able to open and close my envelope, so I will pull in some of my sticky Velcro dots and place those on the top corner there. I add one down on the paper, flip the other one opposite and stick them together, and then fold that down. That way I know that they will match nice and even when I close that flap down. I decided I wanted to trim out the word adore to place on here. So I have used some Stamp Market Sea Glass cardstock, and I'm also pulling in the Stamp Market Skinny Upper Alpha Dies to trim that out. I've done three layers of each of the letters here, and then I will just use my art glitter glue to stack them on top of each other. So I'm starting here with my middle envelope and you will see as I get towards the end, I, I end up changing this quite a bit. It took me a little while to sort of get my mojo flowing as I was putting this together. And I have left in the full process, as you can see, I have really sped things up at this point, but I wanted to show you sort of where I started. And then I think I actually go back to this envelope again at the very end and that's when I make my final changes. So I've also pulled in a Heidi Swap washi collection. You'll see um, that I add that as we go along here. I'm also using an embossing folder from Park Lane to get that heart pattern that I've got on the pink there and I'll pull that in with a few other pieces as well. Uh, I have pulled in some Stamp Market blush cardstock as well as some of their cherry cardstock. And I think that covers the additional items. I, of course, am using my score tape and my art glitter glue and my ATG gun. I'll also pull in some foam dots so that I can get uh, some dimension here as well. Um, but I think that covers the additional things that I've added in along with the Love Notes collection. At this point, I'm going to turn up the music and let you enjoy the process. And I will be back at the end to finish everything up.
Thank you.
So here is a look at the finished envelopes. Here I'll give you a look at what I've included. I've got a washi share there in the first envelope. In this second one, I will include a face mask. I picked that up at Target. Here for my center envelope, I'm much happier with that now that I've made those additional changes. I did create some mini envelopes there. That's a set of five. I've added just a little bit of string around that to keep them together. In here, I've got one of the extra sticker packs that matches this collection to share. And then lastly, I've added in some fringe from Felicity Jane. So there, that gives you a look at all of the envelopes together. I've got some American Crafts ribbon here. I'm gonna use the whole spool. That'll give me just about the length that I need. I'll go ahead and find my center. And then I will just take my envelope and fold that right around the ribbon. And I'll go ahead and get everything laid out here. Just trying to keep an equal distance between all of those and have enough at the end so that the recipient can go ahead and hang this if they would like to. And then once I've got that sorted out, I'm going to pull in some mini clothespins so that way I can keep all of these envelopes on the ribbon without them moving around too much. I picked up these pink clips at Target and I will go ahead and get everything arranged here, making sure that's nice and even. And then I'll add one of these clips to each of the envelopes. There you can see they're not gonna move around. And then finally, I'll give you one last look at what all of this looks like together. Here are a few close-ups of the finished project. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.